27 ways how you can acquire gold heads in Rise of Kingdoms. How some players are saving up so many sculptures and how do they manage to get all these sculptures and upgrade all the commanders they desire. And I can guarantee you that there is at least one, at least one of them that you didn't know about. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Legend Ronnie and today I want to show you all the ways how you can acquire gold heads in the game. And I found 27 ways how you can acquire gold heads. To be honest, I was pretty speechless when I was writing all of them one by one. And I was like, yo, is there really so many? And I could have made many more because, for example, when is Osiris League, there is the shop, then there is Osiris Invitational, then there is Osiris Grand Final. So if I really want to split all those and various other points, how you can acquire gold heads. And I was like, yo, that's too many ways, <laughs> to be honest. And they are still introducing more and more ways into the future. Honestly, I really like it. I really like that. But I want to put it all of them. So as a end of 2021, all the ways that you can acquire gold heads. And I'm pretty sure that I'll probably miss one or two of them and if i do make sure you check the description of the video or check the comments i'm gonna make sure to pin a comment if i do miss one or two of them but i'm pretty sure i kind of put all of them and i thought it through about all the possible ways it's just that there is players that will surely find a way or two that i probably missed now fyi this is about gold heads so this is about the universal gold heads so it's not about the specific sculptures it's this universal gold heads that you can use on commanders that you desire and also have to mention that all these 27 points that i have to talk about and say in this video these are repeating so these are events that you can repeat either is kvk achievements either is a shop that will come again or arc of osiris or osiris league this is stuff that is coming again so all this way that i'm going to mention in this video this is repeating so i'm not talking about the start of your journey into the game like when you first start the game there's probably some special events then or like we have an event right now that is also giving gold heads and i believe is the eternal sanctuary doing it does give you a gold head so it's not this type of event that just one time all the events that I'm, that will be mentioned they are repeating so let's get into it going on to the number one is the vip daily login as you noticed once you obtain vip 14 you acquire three sculptures a day believe it or not it is the best the best source of acquiring gold heads into the game i always advise players to push as high vip as possible some players don't agree with my recommendation because my recommendation is to push vip 17 and even further that but some players say that is enough if you push to vip 15 it's a lot of differences and you know people have different opinions regarding this i also made a video i'm gonna make sure to post a card on the top about it if you want to hear more in details but each and every vip level they give you permanent bonuses training speed ups all damage production resource action points recovery action points limit healing speed <sighs> you name it so all these bonuses are really amazing bonuses in my opinion you should always push for the vip again card on the top for more details about that video going on to the second point is an event that right now we don't have it but you probably know about it and if i find a picture i'll make sure to post the picture on the screen is silk road it usually pops on the calendar if i'm correct the silk road comes every month or once a month as far as i remember on the silk road as long as you acquire 50,000 points in the event by just escorting the caravan and you have to do it three times you can get two sculptures each time and it's a total of six sculptures it's a bunch of gems as well like 600 gems if you do all three and a bunch of speed ups that's a really really nice event i like silk road i hope it will be more often so that's another source of gold heads for you going on to the number three is the karak which event which again right now we don't have the karak 
but you probably all know about the Karak is a very old event into the game. If you do the Hell mode, you get 12 sculptures. Once the event is over, you get one sculpture for completing the level 50 on Hell mode. I don't know the other levels, to be honest, because I'm doing Hell mode for like years. So for me, it's always like that. And then when you do the bosses for the Karak, a chance to get a maximum of nine sculptures. I never really got the maximum sculptures on the Karak. But if you did, I mean, that's probably good for you. An average is about another three sculptures. Going on to the number four is the 20 sculptures events. You probably all know about it. You either have to gain power, you have to train troops, you, you have to do research, you have to do building. It, either it is by minutes or by power is the 20 sculptures event. And those events are pretty often. If, if I remember correctly, I think they are like every week or so. Now... If you know how to save your speed ups or if you know how to time it, in some kingdoms there is a lot of players that don't go for it. In some kingdoms people go crazy on those because they probably have a lot of fixed MG so they don't have wherever to, to train or they don't have anything else better to train. So it all depends on how crazy your kingdom is but it's also a nice way for sculptures if you know how to save up or if you know how to to follow them because there's probably be players not really pushing on some of them then you might have a chance if you have a stock of speed ups and you can get some sculptures more than gem event this is a very popular event every two months and all you have to do is spend 50,000 gems now how you spend those gems is entirely up to you myself on this account as vip 16 i boost the vip level and i always make sure as you see i have a big amount of cards i don't have 50,000 yet but that's what i usually try every two months you have more than gems and you need 50,000 gems to spend so I make sure that every time it comes around I have my 50,000 gems in cards I have it saved up it's very important because you get an overall of 26 sculptures plus speed ups and various other stuff um, on a two day period by just uh, buying the stuff that you really want to buy with your gems either you want to spend on your VIP to increase your VIP or you want to spend on, on the VIP shop, you get 26 sculptures. So that's a really nice event and a really nice source of sculptures as well. Going on to number six, we have the VIP shop. Now, the reason I put the VIP shop next to the modern gems is because some of you don't want to push for VIP as much as I like to push. So that way you have various other options that you can go from the VIP, including buying more gold heads. Now, this is another extra 20 gold heads that you can get and you still have a 10,000 gems that you can probably go for more speed ups or various other stuff that you want to get into the VIP shop. Going on to the number seven is Zenith of Power. Zenith of Power is an event that comes every four months, every four months with one of those special events and during the Zenith of Power, all you have to do is train 1 million power. And I believe you can train even or you can do even with research or building increase. So you don't necessarily need to just train troops. But if you acquire a million power in each Zenith of Power, you get 5 sculptures guarantee. Now if you get higher rank in the Zenith of Power, you can definitely acquire even more sculptures. So that's also a very nice way how you can get a few sculptures from Zenith of Power. And going on to the number 8, you have the special events that come every 2 months or 4 months. So for example, we right now we have the Halloween event, which you can acquire 35 sculptures by unlocking it with 7000 gems. And those 7000 gems, you get them back, you probably know already. So if you do the math, which I already claimed is 35 gold heads. Now these events are every four months, but the special events are every two months. So next event that we are going to get next special event is going to be the winter one. But the winter one is not going to be uh, as similar as the Halloween one where you just kill barbarians and you build it up. The winter one is going to be getting the gold heads with gems or having to buy the bundle to actually get the stuff that you need the materials or the those items that you can trade them in for gold heads and then is when we're also going to get a zenith of power and every four months those events will will repeat and basically 
these free events where you get these free gold heads because all you have to do is kill barbarians these are also every four months but the special events are every two so i hope it's not confusing going on to the point number nine is the recharge rewards every time we have a special event every two months you also get the recharge rewards you can get 30 sculptures and all you have to do is just recharge 2500 gems the way i do it is with the supply depot as you notice my 30 day supply gem is at 60 days and then my material one is at 55 and obviously a little bit of speed ups if there is room that's how i do my recharge it helps a lot it's probably some of the best buys in in the game going on to the number 10 is the arms master lohar and the race against time so whichever they're going to introduce uh, lately they added gold heads sometimes they put blueprints but for the race against time there was always gold heads so if you're wondering that um, how can i complete this event or how can you compete in this event well for race against time you can group up with other players and make sure you have five super fast marchers you can even put blue equipment on those uh, five marchers you have the wine swept set to give them even more march speed and even if you put 50,000 troops even if you don't have the troops all you need to make sure is just tag along with that player and you'll make sure to get one of the high ranks and arms master lohar it does require to have some uh, some legendaries some legendary commanders and it's a trick about charging your march with rage using john of arc and that's a very nice way how you can start hitting the arms master low heart so you can get as high score as possible and have as many troops left for a high rank going on to number 11 we have champions of olympia now that might sound really crazy but if you just do the 100 progress in champions of olympia which right now is not on it's only during the weekend so we don't really have it available right now so it should come up um, on the weekend you can get two gold heads from just that and then you have the champions of olympia shop now if you get high rank enough and you save up coins and you can get even more gold heads from the champions of olympia shop the famous arc of osiris going on to the number 12 which you can get five or ten gold heads either you win or lose all you have to do is just acquire ten thousand points and i've done a video for beginner's guide how you can acquire ten thousand points if you don't know or you're struggling to get the ten thousand points maybe you just want to check that video out and it will definitely help you i would recommend to everyone to play arc of osiris it's completely free it's just one hour and you either win or lose you get gems and speed ups and sculptures Going on to the number 13, which pretty much is related to Ark of Osiris, we have the Osiris League. But there is a long list regarding the Osiris League. Osiris League is also every week once it starts. So I highly recommend everyone to try to register for it. It definitely helps out. Plus you get special coins for a shop and in that shop you can get gold heads as well. I would strongly recommend that you first get the army expansions, the 50% army expansion from the Osiris League shop because those are much more rewarding than the gold heads but this video is about gold heads so from the osiris league shop you can get gold heads as well and then you have the two betting shops from the osiris league one is when you can bet each week which teams are going to win and the second betting shop is when you can bet which team is going to be champions and i'm pretty sure that once you get to the osiris league invitational and or osiris league grand final whichever is going to be you all know about it once we have all the four champions it goes to that i think there is a betting shop as well for that so there is a couple of gold heads in all this that you can acquire going on to the number 14 we have the lesson scrolls russian scrolls is the best buy in the game there isn't anything else better for a total of five because i don't get the 21 i always get the the first one with five and you are able to get all the rewards it is the best by as free to play as you want to be in this game but if you really want to spend five bucks into something this is the best so many valuable things and so much value out of the last scroll that is unreal in terms of speed ups resources keys vip 
army expansions, blueprints, gold heads, because that's what this video is about, is an amazing value. I could never believe that they would ever introduce such a thing. But again, action points. I even forgot to mention action points. Gems. Even gems. So as free to play as you want to be in the game, the last on scroll should be the at least the minimum that you want to go with playing the game. Because you can complete it each and every time without any struggles by just getting the five. As you see, I have three days left and I didn't even bother to do a lot of the challenges like kill, destroying the holy sites, healing troops, defeating barbarians. I haven't even done the barbarian ones and I still managed to complete it. I still get to 50. So that's really, really great value. Going on to the number 15, we have the pre-KVK ranking. As you all know, when the eve of the crusade starts, regarding your in KVK 1, 2, 3 or season of conquest, depending on the rank that you get, you do have a chance to get gold heads. If you push higher for the rank, the higher the rank you get, the more gold heads that you can get. So if you push really hard on marauders and marauders forts and you train a little bit of troops, then you can definitely get even more gold heads. Once you get into your KVK map, you have the Ruined Crusader Fortress. Now, once you're rebuilding the Ruined Crusader Fortress, you have the stage three of rebuilding it where you trade in your sculptures and you can get another 20 gold heads from that as well. So that's a very, very sweet and nice way how you can get more gold heads in the game. When you're in the season of conquest, seven days after you get into the map, you have Legendary Tavern. Now, during the Legendary Tavern, you can use some very special keys. The legendary tavern is very new. Well, I would say six to eight months or maybe 10 months. And you can use the sovereign keys, which they will be available in the VIP shop once the legendary tavern is available. But there will also be events how you can acquire the sovereign keys. In the legendary tavern, there is a shop where you can use the legendary marks. The legendary marks you can acquire when you get sculptures from the legendary tavern uh, that you already have. So if you have a max skill legendary and you get its sculptures from the legendary tavern, then you get 50 marks for each gold head. So if you get, I don't know, a 10, that's uh, 500 marks. And on the legendary tavern shop, you can spend 100 marks to buy a one gold head universal up to 40. A lot of people are buying keys to try their luck again in the legendary tavern. I would strongly recommend to get your gold heads because those universal gold heads is 100% something that you can use on any commander. So for example, on my last legendary tavern, I was able to buy 10 gold heads or I had the option to buy another 25 keys because it's 40 marks for a key. So I prefer to get those 10 legendary sculptures and just use them on the commanders that I want because all these things that I'm saying in this video, they pile up. Two, three sculptures, 10 sculptures here and there, all these sculptures, they just pile up. And that's how you make a whole sum of sculptures to use for your commanders. When your KVK starts in Season of Conquest at least, there is a purchase event and this is very new. This is super new, like I just found out a couple of days about this event. We also had it as a trial a while back. All you had to do is just buy like 25,000 gems or buy bundles worth of 25,000 gems and you were completing the event and the event was giving you speed ups, resources, gold heads, legendary materials. And now they introduced this event in Season of Conquest right at the start. You have like two weeks to complete it or something like that. And it also gives a bunch of crystals. When you go to your Super Value Bundle, once you are in KVK and your Legendary Tavern started seven days in, it will start with a daily bundle as well that has one gold chest. The Living Legend is also daily and has three gold chests. Now you start getting gold heads from the silver. The silver one gives you one gold head and the gold one gives you two gold heads and that's valid for living legend and legendary tavern so someone who max purchase those two bundles daily they will get 10 gold heads each day point number 20 we have the kvk crusader achievements the honor roll and the end rewards if you win 
So during your KVK, you will have a lot of achievements, a lot of Crusader achievements that you can complete. Plenty of gold has that you can get from those achievements if you're going to put them all together. And there is also the honor roll. So the higher you will be able to go in honor or the more barbarians you will be able to kill, the more gold heads you will be able to get. So it all depends to you how much time you want to spend completing the achievements and going higher in the honor roll. Point number 21. Either you choose Heroic Anthem or Strife of the Eight, there is a shop. So if you're really interested in getting more gold heads, you can definitely get more gold heads from this uh, shop as well. My recommendation is that is better value for the materials or blueprint is the highest value that you can get from here. Even if you have the blueprints, you can go for more special time blueprints. So definitely aim for the blueprints first and if you don't maybe you need one of the skins so still higher value than a few gold heads but if you have everything or you don't need anything then you still can get gold heads from this shop as well point number 22 we have the wheel of fortune during kvk 1 2 and 3 if i'm correct you still get the universal wheel now in Season of Conquest, once you start getting the wheel, you have a plethora of commanders to choose from. What I usually do during the Wheel of Fortune, I do 11 spins. That's the maximum spin that I do. Now, how do I do those 11 spins? You have the three uh, free spins and then you have the three half price spins. And after that, you do a full five spins. That's a total of 11 spins. Because, you know, each day you get a free and a half price, a free and a half price, a free and a half price, and then you do a total of five. So either is a universal wheel, KVK 1, 2, and 3, or is a full wheel with specific sculptures, you should definitely do it. But in the wheel, you can still get universal gold heads. So that's also another way how you can get. And you can get five heads for the commander that you're working on. Point number 23 is the Ritter of History. If I do have a screenshot, I'll make sure to post it. Every time you're summoning a new legendary that you don't have, you get a pop-up bundle, which is called the Ritter of History. That gives you 10 universal heads. That's a really, really amazing bundle that you can get. And I think there is a couple more bundles that you can get, like one-time bundles for gold heads because i know they introduced them a while back i don't really know how you can pop those one i believe it gives you 10 and one it gives you 15. that was a very long time ago that we had those but those are like one time the ritter of history is every time you summon a new legendary commander that you don't have point number 24 we have the car king event even though it is made for specific sculptures you can still get universal gold heads or you still have a chance to get universal gold heads on the car king as well my recommendation is that the car king is not really worth it but if you're a high spender then or a medium spender probably if you always have plenty of gems that car king is really good for you and is a nice way to get more gold heads daily special offer whether you want to believe it or not and this why all these things including the car king they are the last ones because it's a very very tiny chance that you can get gold heads but it's still a way you can get more gold heads so in the daily special offer if you see if you check you can get legendary commander sculptures with a very very small chance point number 26 the treasure of the warrior queen the 12 chests that you can get daily from the expedition shop they have a chance to give you legendary commander sculpture as well. And FYI, I did saw legendary commander sculptures from this chest. It's very rare, but you do get some. Players have tried to find ways how it's best to open them. To be honest, I don't think there is a trick on how to opening them. People were trying 101, 102, 105, 109. I just open them all every single time and usually I do get one or two legendary commander sculptures. Point number 27 and I think this is going to be the last one or if there is more make sure you check the pin comment on the video. I'll make sure to pin it if there is ways that I missed it but FYI all these ways that I have mentioned it's something that repeats so I'm not talking about events or something that pops in one time it's all about something that can repeat something that you can keep getting over and over and, and over into the game so you can get more gold heads point number 27 is kahar the hidden 
when you summon it, when you are in the season of conquest in KVK, is something similar to low heart, but it's like a, a bow necklace. And you summon it, you kill it. When you click on it, it shows you that it has a chance to give you a gold head. Personally, I've been with so many accounts in the season of conquest, I have never seen one but it does show it when you click on it. So there is a chance that you can get a go ahead even from that. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if I do miss anything, this is the third time I'm saying it, please check the pinned comment or the description of the video, but I'll probably put it in the pinned comment. And let me know, because this is the most important part. I want to know if there is at least one from this 27 that you didn't know you can get gold heads from. I want to hear it in the comment section below. And until next time, this is your boy Legend Ronnie signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends.